Let me go to my chart, which is the spread between Italian and Spanish yields. Does Spain look more attractive given what's going on in, in Italy right now? I think from a valuation perspective, not necessarily. I mean, I think Spain is a good story and has been um, you know, an improving story, at least in terms of the economics. Obviously, it does have some of its own political uh, risk as well. And I think recent polls has also shown that there's still quite a strong populist element within um, uh, Spain as, as well. But I think what it highlights is that you're getting a spread twice as much spread on, on Italy at the moment th than, than you are relative to, to Spain. I do think Italy should trade uh, wider to Spain on a fundamental basis, but I do think that if Italian uh, spreads were to go to, you know, through 150 approaching yeah. 160, then I think that's an interesting potential entry point because I just don't think there's Italian exit risk and systemic right. risk is 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 high. I think it's very low, in fact. I know the situation is very fluid. I know there are a number of leaks, which again, I don't know whether it's you know testing the market. Yep. I don't know whether it's something that we need to take at all seriously. But when you hear about the potential government actually discussing this government debt write down worth billions of euros, what did you think? Is it you know this will never happen? This is you know they're much more populous than I thought they would be. How how should markets interpret I, this? I I think one should discount that because it's uh, playing to a domestic base and a domestic gallery. Uh, I mean, if the ECB were to genuinely write off 250 billion euros of, 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 of government debt and, you know, is actually precluded uh, legally from, from doing so. But if it did so, then we're into a fiscal union world um, and you've got shared risk. Actually, in that world, I'd, I'd be a buyer <laughs> of, of, of the privilege. But actually, we're not in that world. I think the concern that the market and I would have around those kinds of uh, proposals, if you like, is not that they're serious proposals, um, but that indicates perhaps a lack of seriousness and also a confrontational approach with uh, potentially the rest of Europe. And, and, you know, for this debate between France and Germany about how yep. to move Europe forward is really about Germany wants risk reduction, France wants, you know, risk right. sharing. Yeah. Um, and it's quite hard, I think, to persuade Germany and other parts of Northern Europe for risk sharing when they have an Italian government potentially with those kinds of proposals.